Do you have a whole bunch of resources that you need smelted super fast? Like a whole stack in less than a minute fast? Well, my super smelter will do just that. And I'm going to show you how to build it. Hey there everybody, Racecrafter here, and welcome to a new Minecraft tutorial video. Today I have for you my XP Combo Super Smelter. This bad boy, if I can get the buttons right, there we go. This bad boy has 32 furnace, or furni, has 16 on each side, and it's a combo smelter in the fact that it uses 16 regular furnace or 16 blast furnace, but you can uh, switch that up and use whatever furnace you want to suit your needs. So you could have all regular furnace, all blast furnace, all smokers, blast and smokers, blast and regular, smokers and regular, you know, you get the idea. This is a semi-automatic smelter in the fact that all you have to do is press the button once and it will continue to smelt items as long as there are items and fuel in the system. So we would come over here. I got some items here in the chest. Give you a quick demo on this. So on this side, we got our signage here to let us know which furnace is on each side. So we got a regular furnace here. So if there's some stone in there, we got our fuel here, throw our coal in there. On the blast furnace side, we'll throw some iron in and some fuel. And also each side is independent. So you don't have to have the whole thing running all the time. So once our fuel and our items are in the system, Press the button once, and the minecarts get sent on their way. All the items are smelting, and since this is the blast furnace side, this will actually smelt a full stack in 32 seconds. So you get almost two full stacks in one minute, super fast. As you can see, the minecarts are going automatically until all the items are smelted and oh i must have had some in there before but you can see they're coming in here really quick and they're already done now as far as getting xp from this we have a lever over here you flick that lever the redstone lamp comes on to indicate that the system is locked what that does is locks all the hoppers down under there and that way you can come in here grab your items, get the XP, and uh, everything's all good. When you're done and you just want the items to come back to the collection chest, just turn off the lever, everything's back to normal, and it's all good. Now, this smelter will work in both Java and Bedrock Edition. I currently built this in Java, but it works exactly the same in Bedrock Edition. However, there is a minecart hopper bug in bedrock edition but at the end of this video probably right after this clip i will show you a really easy and quick fix to get around that bug and it does not cost you almost anything extra to uh, implement that fix so once again it works in java and bedrock edition so everybody gets to have an xp combo super smelter yay I've done my best to design this as compactly as possible. As you can see, it is only four blocks tall total. It is a 26 block long array. So it's a little bit long, but it's as short as I could get it. And it's only five blocks wide. So it can fit in a pretty tight space, you know, providing you have the length. It has very easy redstone. It has does have a lot of power rails, not gonna lie there. But it, it like I said, semi-automatic, one touch. All you do is you hit the button once and it just keeps going until everything is smelted. Now, if you happen to lock the system and forget that it's locked or you're just doing a whole bunch of stuff and you're smelting all kinds of crazy amounts of resources, 
if these hoppers get full, then the system will just continue going forever until you unlock it or remove the items from the actual hoppers. So once you turn off the locking system, all the items will drop back down into the hoppers, like so, and get sent to the chest. Locking the system will keep the items inside there where you can grab them and collect your XP. Before we get started on the build here, here is the materials that you are going to need. We'll need 16 of each type of furnace that you wish to, to uh, use. I'm using 16 blast and 16 regular furnace. We're going to need a stack and 24 power rails. We'll need four regular rails. You'll need about a stack of building blocks, um, four stairs, can be any type of stairs, wood, stone, whatever. Uh, two pieces of glass, or two blocks of glass. Uh, four signs, three redstone lamps, two levers. You'll need four hopper minecarts. Um, I've got the extra four hoppers here to combine with the minecart hoppers. So just to kind of keep things as complete as possible, uh, we will not need the smooth stone. You'll need 10 redstone, redstone torches, 37 repeaters, two comparators, a stack and a half of hoppers, 12 chests, 28 pieces of redstone dust, two buttons, can be any buttons you want, and four minecarts with the four hoppers to combine them as hopper minecarts. So I'm just going to get rid of these so I don't have them in my hop bar. And Let's get started building this bad boy. All right, we got our layout here, 26 blocks long, five blocks wide, four blocks tall. So we're gonna start first thing down here with some chests. These are going to be the collection chests. We place those one block from the end on the edge like so. Next, hoppers pointing into those chests, 16 of them. And we do the same thing on the other side for the other chest. Four, five, five, six, seven, come on, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right. Next, grab your repeaters and place a repeater facing into the hoppers all the way down. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Do not place a repeater on this last hopper here. Same thing on the other side, 15. We're also going to place a repeater right here at the beginning, touching the edges of those. Same thing on the end, touching the edges, always facing the same direction. We're going to place a repeater here and Two here and two here, all facing the same direction towards the back. Next, grab some redstone dust. Place dust connecting all the repeaters together. Skip this one, obviously, and then place dust there for now. Next, grab your comparators and put the comparators facing away from the hoppers at the end of the line here. Now we got that. One quick correction here with the redstone dust. We want a piece of dust there and there flanking that uh, single compared or single repeater into the back of those repeaters there. Next, we'll grab some building blocks at the end with the chest. We're going to put a block there, 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 there. Coming back to the back side, a block on top of the comparator, a block behind or in front of the comparator so the comparator is facing into the block temporary block block on top block on top like that so it kind of looks like that shape next we'll put a block here and here and we're going to repeat that on this side so a block on top of the comparator in front of the comparator temporary block on top break that place a block there 
and then on the inside there and there like so now we can come down to this side grab your stairs actually we will do the furnace first so it doesn't matter what side you put what furnace just 16 on each side and they go on top of the hoppers that we place down so regular furnace there and then blast over here all right now we can take our stairs and these are completely optional they're just decorative really one there one there upside down and the same on this side that's just for looks so you could have a solid block looking on top but the chest still opens next more hoppers hoppers will go into the back of each of these furnace and make sure that the little tail that you are is pointing into the back and you are facing the back of the hopper when you place them both sides Next, we will place hoppers on top of each of the furnace. Make sure you're pointing at the top of the furnace when you place them. So that the hopper is pointing, the little nozzle deal is pointing down into the top of the furnace. Like so. More building blocks. One, two there and two on the bottom behind the stairs there so two there two there temporary block block on top temporary block block on top those are stoppers so that the minecart does not fly off the, the tracks temporary block on top temporary block on top and if you want you can fill in the center piece there i'm going to come around to the back side we're going to build kind of a T configuration here with blocks, those repeaters facing into blocks, block on top, block on the front, block on the back. So you can see that T shaped. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Like so. Now we grab our redstone torches. We're going to put a torch on the back of the block that the comparator is facing into. And we're going to put torches on these two blocks underneath, like so. Same thing on the other side. And you will notice that the torches underneath these blocks have turned off. Since this torch is powering these repeaters, the power in the block, turning off the torches down here. Now with our button, button goes on the block above the comparator, like so. Piece of redstone dust here in this space. Glass goes on top of this torch here. Now the reason we're using glass here is because if we used a solid block, this would create a burnout clock and it would not function. So we were to do that you can see it's creating the burnout clock and now it's not working but if we use the glass there it doesn't create a burnout clock we're all good place a solid block behind that glass they are there connecting these two sections up and then glass above that torch on that side we're going to repeat the same thing with the dust in that space there and a button on the block above the comparator so now platform should look like this now like we did on the other side we're going to put some stopper blocks so the mine carts do not fly off the track so we have stopper blocks like so we are looking mighty fine now give you a little overview so you can can see better just in case you made a mistake
Next, we're going to grab our power rails, and they're going to go down the line, starting with the block behind the glass, just all the way down the line, on top of each hopper, all the way to the stopper block. Now, rails can be a little tricky, depending on the direction you are facing, um, they can snap really weird. This configuration, this is south, this is north, north, and if you place rails side by side, they're going to want to snap like that no matter where you place them. But to get around that, if you extend the rail temporarily and then place your rails next to each other, see that one wasn't extended so it snapped, they will place properly. So, an easy way to do that is just temporarily extend this one. My bad. Extend. <laughs> See, they, they, they're messing with me. Extend that one and then place your rails down here and they will snap properly. Now we want to temporarily extend that one, otherwise these two would snap together. So put that there, then you can break that one, and they'll stay the way you want them to. We're going to do the same thing down this side. So one behind the block, or behind the glass, and go all the way down. We're going to temporarily extend this like so, and then we can place these ones down here without any issue. Temporarily extend that one, like that, and you can break that, and we're good to go. Now come back here and fix our mess, so we can eliminate that one, block on top, break that one. Just to make sure our stopper blocks, oh, we're missing one. Stopper blocks are in place, otherwise your minecart is going to go poing off that way. So now we're going to have to temporarily do the same thing on this back side because we want a regular rail. Just Those are just temporary. Regular rail here and here with a power rail behind it, like so. So now we break that, break that, break that, and that, and put regular rail in there, like so. So you want, at the end, you want powered rails, then a regular rail, and then the rest power rails. Then we can put our stopper blocks back again. You can leave this here if you want. You don't have to. Doesn't that's not not needed. Next, we need to power our rails. So you want to count five blocks from where the glass side is. So one, two, three, four, five. Come on the inside. Place temporary blocks on top of that redstone. Come up three on that third block. So it is sitting just above the hoppers. Redstone torch. I can get it to work. There we go. On this side and on this side. And you see they power up. Go down to the end over here. And on the last powered rail, come in one. So the one that's not, the first one that's not powered, do the same thing. Place a block, three blocks up. So it's even, or one block above the hoppers and torch it. As you can see now, all of our rails are all powered up. We are good to go. Next, we're going to take three building blocks and place them here, here, and here in between these sections here. We're going to put redstone dust on top of those, like so. We're going to put a temporary block there, or you can just leave that block either way. Redstone lamp right there. Or you can put it at the bottom like I have it over there. 
or you can go up top if you want to step it up one here but that's a good place for it and what that redstone lamp is going to do is just a second visual indication of the locking system so we're going to come down to this side redstone lamp there and there and we're going to place dust coming out of the back of those and then here connecting up to that repeater there levers on the face of the redstone lamps and now our locking system is complete click the lever the lamp goes on all these repeaters down here light up and all the way back to this lamp here so you have a visual indication front and rear now it, when the locking system is not on so when the lamp is off when it's automatically going this lamp on this end will flash each time the minecarts leave the uh the station here so that's normal if you see that happening don't worry about it next we can put our hopper minecarts here 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 and we can give it a quick test by pressing the button make sure they go back and forth and they will stop at the end again test the other side hit the button they will go down come back and stop good deal now we need to put our input chests on top here put them in any direction you want it doesn't really matter there there and there there you're going to be looking at them from this side anyway so it doesn't really matter which way they're facing and there you have it the super smelter is complete everything is powered everything is working all we need to do now is throw some items in there so let's get some stone and some iron and we'll need some coal or whatever fuel you want to use doesn't matter So this is our smeltable input side and what did we use here? We used regular furnace. So we'll put the stone, where'd I put it? There it is. Put the stone in there. Fuel in this one. Fuel in this one. Iron in this one for the blast furnace. Hit that button and everything should light up as it goes down. Good deal. Now, since we didn't put a repeater on this one, if you put a repeater to lock this hopper, it will never go again. Because now all the items are, are will be locked in this hopper, and it'll just, it won't work. So we that's why we don't put the repeater on that hopper. So now it'll keep going until all items are smelted, or there's no more fuel left, or whichever comes first. And you can walk away, go do whatever you gotta do, and then come back and grab your items now of course hit that that will lock the hoppers so now the next time this comes through you can grab it and you will get the XP same thing on this side hit the button now with the blast furnace obviously this will be much faster on this side while it's melting you can see here the input will be pretty quick. Are we locked? We're locked. <laughs> there we go. So it'll come down It, like I said, 32 seconds for a full stack on the blast furnace. 48 seconds for a full stack on the regular furnace and i honestly i have not tested the smoker but i believe the smoker works just as fast as the blast furnace and there you have it 
the super smelter. Almost done. We're going to put signs so we can remember where stuff goes. So this is furnace smelt. Furnace fuel. This is blast. Uh, this was blast fuel. Fuel are on the insides, smelts are on the outside. Blast smelt. And now we are labeled and good to go. Now, of course, you can decorate this however you want. Um, at the beginning, I kind of showed you what I had done with it. You now it's kind of keep it looking kind of cool. Put some glass up there to kind of see when the carts are going by. Now you can put like a uh, little, you know, like an entry door on the side here, or on the back or at the other side so you can get inside walking down the middle. Because if these blocks were not here, you can still walk down here to do any repairs or grab, you know, try and get stuff that might have been stuck for some reason if you unloaded the area and it was working, you know, stuff like that. And there we have it. The XP combo super smelter complete. Um, you might be wondering, why do you have so many built here, dude? Well, back when I was having some recording issues, <laughs> I just have to keep rebuilding and rebuilding. And I finally got all those issues done, so I revisited this tutorial and recorded it with proper audio and video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope uh, this helps you out. And I hope to see it built in all your worlds. Okay, so we're here over in the Bedrock Edition now. As you can see, the absolute identical um, smelter is built here and works just the same. However... I have just discovered a new bug. Yeah. Um, I figured out north, south, east, west. That is north that way. So this is built going north, south. And if we were to place a minecart here, no problem. Does what it's supposed to do. However, these rails are not powered. If we place a minecart next to that one, they decide that those rails are now powered and they'll just keep going and going and going and they don't stop which is really weird because oops if we go over here they're not going this you know east west lays them down they do what they're supposed to do and they only move when they're powered so yeah go figure the original bug that uh, I'm going to show you how to get around is still here, but this is a new one because it didn't do this before. So, Bedrock players, be sure when you build this, you are building east-west, not north-south. And an easiest way for that I know to find north is get a locator map. Get, make sure your little pointer dude is pointing towards the top of the map. And that is north. That'll always face north. So, you know, now the bottom of the map's north. But, you know, as long as that little pointer dude is pointing to the top of the map, you are facing north. So I put a little sign there to remind myself which way is north. So, once again, be sure to build this east-west, not north-south. What a pain. Um... Or let me quickly fix the track here. Okay, so the the other bug is that when two hopper minecarts are traveling next to each other with a one block height difference, items from the hopper on the upper block will transfer items to the hopper or hopper minecart on the lower block. And um my buddy Conniption Fit had built a or made a smelter video a while ago, and people were like, "What the hell is going on? My items are not getting in there. Um, they're transferring from one minecart hopper to the other, and it only affects south side and east side. 
So this would be, since this way is north, this is the south side. And since this is going east-west, this is the east side. This side, since it's different, since the lower part is on the west, it's not going to affect anything, no big deal. But it will affect this side. But with this new bug, we're not going to be building it this way. So we're only have, going to have to be concerned with the south side. When they're side by side like this, um, on the same level, the bug, it, they're not affected. They're not going to transfer items to each other unless I just discovered a, a third new bug. But you see, the items are still in there, so there's not going to transfer. But if we were to raise this up without no breaking everything, I would just use wood planks. Raise this up one and put our rails on there. I know I'm drawing this out more than it should be, but I want you guys to have this information so you know what's going on and you're not like totally frustrated um, when you go to build something like this, you know? Uh, let's just throw a lever on there. Power it. Put our hopper minecart here. Put the rest of these items in there. You see, it's transferring. You saw it transfer? Right there. All the items are going down to that hopper minecart now. So now, actually the north side that's affected. And this is so confusing. But the fix is simple. It really is. It, wait, let, before I say that, <laughs> let's do this. No, they do not transfer. This hopper minecart with chest is still not affected. It's just the hopper minecarts that are affected. So that's the fix we're going to use for this. So when we build, you again, build it east west. Do not build it north south. So the easiest way to, if you don't know exactly know which way, like I said, use the map. But if you can't like easily figure out which side is north and south and which one's affected, just throw the hopper minecarts on there, put items in one and let them go down. If items transfer to the other one, you know that's the affected one and that's the one you need to fix. So what we'll do is we'll just assume this is the one that needs to be fixed. Take away that we're going to put a hopper right there and we can remove that block and put our powered rail back. I don't think it's going to snap properly, but we can fix that in a second. Oh, it didn't. Of course not. I want a power rail. Grr. There. Okay. So now we can put down a hopper minecart. Let's see if this is affected. They're going to move or not. Will. Uh, what a serious pain. But then all we do is put chest on top of here like this. You would have Hopper minecart on that one. Hopper with chest on this one. Now it does make it one block taller. And it will be it will load slower because it's going through a hopper rather than going from the chest directly into the hopper minecart. But that is the quick fix for it. Super easy. You can use the same minecart, the same hopper from the hopper minecart that you had for here. All you need, and then you use the same double chest up here. All it's going to cost you is one extra chest. No, not expensive, no big deal whatsoever. But this does work the same. We hit that, you know, it'll do the same thing as uh, I showed you in the Java edition. Except Bedrock has a few extra bugs. So that is the fix for Bedrock edition. Um, just to summarize really quick, because I want to make sure you guys totally get this. Do not build the smelter north-south. Build it east 
west and you will be fine and do that fix it only needs to be done on one side because it's it's only affected on the east or wet maybe it's changed to east or west but it's only going to be on the lower rails and it's only it should only be on one side if for some reason let's see let's just double check with you guys so you got all the information uh, where's items need items Uh, we'll actually we'll put it here because they transfer downwards. We do that. Put another one there. We're gonna break these, make them stop. We have no items in that. We have eight items in there. Those should not be there, so it is affected both sides. This is just insane. So. The fix for Bedrock Edition is going to be do this the same for both of the fuel um, rails here. So the lower rails, chest with our uh, minecart with chest, hopper on top, chest on top. Unfortunately, that's just the way it's going to go for Bedrock Edition uh, until they fix that. Uh, I'll see what I can do to raise up a ticket for that because <laughs> I just discovered like three extra bugs here with hopper minecarts and minecarts. So I hope that all made sense to you. Um, I'll see what I can do about making a actual like bug report video to kind of go over all this. I'll do some more testing and maybe find some other stuff or s figure stuff out, but I haven't, I haven't been, uh, I haven't built this in 112 yet so this is totally new i don't know why it's doing this maybe they tried to fix something and broke something else i don't know but that is all the information i can give you at this very moment it should everything should work fine i did test it going the other way so just the minecart with chest instead of the hopper minecart in this configuration here so bedrock players man i am so sorry i play bedrock regularly myself so this this is just a real pain in the butt but hopefully they get it fixed soon enough as always thank you so much for watching i do appreciate any and all support you are able to give um, if you enjoy videos like this and let's play videos on both java edition and bedrock edition uh consider subscribing and uh smash that like button for me will you it would really help out the channel and i would appreciate it and you would be an awesome person so Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. I am out of here. See ya.